What's cracking, guys? Bruce Madsen here, your host show of Metric Scout Fantasy Football. And today I got another rookie mock draft. It's one QB, two rounds. And as you know, the goal is to get through as many rookie mock drafts as possible until we get to the actual NFL draft where things really get shaken up. But we're really just trying to see what the market's looking like overall so we have a good feel of what our rookie drafts will look like once it comes that time. Rookie drafts are like Christmas Day. Once it comes time for rookie draft season, I call it, like right after the NFL draft, that's when most people have their drafts. It's a glorious time where you just draft your rookies, you put them on your team, you make your draft day trades and all that stuff. Something us Dynasty gamers are anticipating all throughout the offseason. One of the best times of the year. I like to have mine sprinkled out. Sometimes early, before the draft, sometimes right after, sometimes a little in summer. I'm in a lot of leagues, so I just like them spread out a little bit. That way I don't run through them all at once, and I'm out of the rookie drafts. And then I have to join more leagues, just to keep on drafting, and it just becomes a snowball that keeps rolling downhill. But today, we're covering a two-round, one QB rookie mock draft, and we're going to be hitting that up right now let's start off with the first round here and this one's a little different the 101 we got a little change of pace the first player off the board here for the first pick of this draft is Kenneth Walker running back from Michigan State at the 102 Brees Hall, running back from Iowa State. At the 103, Traylon Burks, wide receiver from Arkansas. At 104, Garrett Wilson, wide receiver from Ohio State. At 105, Drake London, wide receiver from USC. At 106, Jamison Williams, wide receiver from Alabama. At 107, Chris Alave, wide receiver from Ohio State. At 108, Jahan Dotson, wide receiver from Penn State. 109, Kyron Williams, running back from Notre Dame. 110, George Pickens, wide receiver from Georgia. 111, Isaiah Spiller, running back from Texas A&M. And 112, to round out the first round, Sky Moore, wide receiver from Western Michigan. Off the rip, Kenneth Walker going as the 101 in this draft is something new. This is the first time I've seen it. I'm sure there's other drafts, but this is the first time I've seen him as the 101 over Brees Hall. Brees Hall, de facto 102 here. And then we have the big three wide receivers. We see this almost every draft. Once Hall's off the board, if they go Walker as the RB2, or in this case the RB1, we got the big three of the wide receivers, and they're always flipped and flopped depending how that league is valuing them or that first guy and that second guy. But this draft, it's Traylon Burks, Garrett Wilson, and Drake London. I think the previous draft had Drake London as the first one. But those three guys tend to go off the board right off the rip, especially in the top five. Jamison Williams is usually not far behind, along with Chris Olave, so that is the standard. Jahan Dotson, you see him flutter around that back half of the first round. I'm seeing it a little bit more often, but sometimes you catch him around the 201-202 area. Kyron Williams, what are you doing here, buddy? What are you doing here at the 109? How'd you get here? Sometimes I don't even see him go in the second round. Usually he's around the back half of the second, but right here at 109, that's a major reach. I wonder what happened. Maybe it was a misclick. I doubt it. Someone messed up. At 110, George Pickens, good spot for him. Some drafts I see him go a little bit higher than that. There are times when we can catch him at a discount, but that's usually in super flex leagues. But there are times he falls a little bit farther than this. Isaiah Spiller, 111. Probably one of the farthest you'll see him fall in drafts. Maybe sometimes 112. One time I saw him go in the second. Usually it's between 109 and 111 range. 111 seems to be on the back end of that. Sky Moore has been in the first round more often than not lately. I think my last four drafts, he's been in the first round of one QB leagues, and I feel like he's going to be locked and loaded there unless the NFL draft tells us to not do so, which I'm not predicting at all. But let's move on to the second round. Let's see what these jabronis did here. So at the 201 spot, they drafted Malik Willis, quarterback from Liberty. At 202, they drafted David Bell, wide receiver from Purdue. At 203, they drafted Justin Ross, wide receiver from Clemson. At 204, they drafted Christian Watson, wide receiver from North Dakota State. At 205, Rashad White, running back from Arizona State. At 206, they drafted Zamir White, running back from Georgia. At 207, They selected Kenny Pickett, 
Quarterback from Pitt at 208. They drafted Trey McBride, tight end from Colorado State at 209. They drafted Brian Robinson, running back from Alabama at 210. They drafted John Mechie, wide receiver from Alabama at 211. They selected Damian Pierce, running back from Florida. And at 212, to round off this draft, they've drafted Matt Coral from all miss one thing i want to say about this second round like the previous draft it's pretty quarterback heavy i don't really recommend that in one qb leagues i think once your guys are off the board you may want to think about it from a talent perspective this rookie draft class is a little bit less than compared to previous years but there are some guys to be had in the second round some fades that you want to make and also some guys you want to catch at a discount why you still can. I like Justin Ross and David Bell's landing spot here, 202 and 203. I think those are good spots here. Malik Willis at 201. I think that's the second time in recent memory that he's went in that spot. Other times was like mid to late second round. And then one time I seen him jumped up to the first round like middle to high end first round of a 1QB draft. Rashad White, Arizona State. You're either seeing him getting selected in the middle of the first round or middle of the second round. And the ambiguity here is just due to the draft. There's just rumors saying that it'll fall. There's also rumors saying that he'll have decent draft capital. If he's drafting round three or higher, I'm all in. If he falls in draft, I'm falling as far as he goes in the draft, honestly. I like the talent. I like what he can do skill set wise. I think it transitions to fantasy, but I also see some of the limitations that the NFL is looking at, and I'm not going to ignore the rumors because that's data that I could appropriately act on. I like Zamir White at 206. I think he's a good value here. Him and Rashad White usually go in the same area. Once one goes off the board, the next one's coming. So be aware of that in your drafts. Kenny Pickett, I feel like he's overdrafted here. I'd rather pay a third rounder for a quarterback like him in one QB. But this year, the crop's a little bit weak. So I can understand him being bumped up. But I feel like 207 is a little rich for my blood. Brian Robinson. Could get higher draft capital than expected. That will affect his draft stock in Dynasty. But as of right now, he's just the mystery box. Same with Damian Pierce. We'll see where he goes in draft. He could jump up boards. He could fall down boards. He's going to be somewhere in between. But let's see. Matt Coral at 212. I'd rather spend a 212 pick on Matt Coral than pay up on any of the quarterbacks. Malik Willis is a wild card because he does have that Konami code. But considering what's left on the board, you're talking about David Bell, Justin Ross, some of the running backs. You may want to go with some of those skilled players because one QB, the quarterbacks aren't worth near as much. I like this draft. I think it was kind of fun. I like seeing drafts be a little bit different. And this draft wasn't set to be different for this channel. This draft actually happened. Real world mock draft. These guys selecting the best players they thought were on the board at that time. And we got some doozies. We got some whoppers. But we also had some decent picks. Let me know what you think about this two-round mock draft. Who fell? Who got overdrafted? Who got drafted in the right location? Who do you want on your team? Just let me know in the comments. But I want to thank you for watching the show. Sticking with me. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. It's right here in the middle. It'll help you with your dynasty teams. It also fuels me to keep putting out this content. And it lets me know I'm doing a good job. I want to thank you again. And I'll catch you next time.